Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley, and welcome to today's show. When you buy a home, you should always get a home inspection. The good thing about that home inspection, not only does it find things wrong with your future house, you can learn so much about your home from that home inspection that will help you as you become the homeowner and live in that home. So I brought on the show today, Scott Stegall, one of the top home inspectors in the Carolina with Carolina Home Pro Inspections. And Scott, tell us what a homeowner can learn and should learn about their future home, other than the repairs. Other than the repairs, uh, there's a number of things that you should learn from the home inspection. Uh, where the location of main electrical panels or right. sub panels is very, very important. Uh, if you need to turn those off in an emergency situation, you should be aware of where these guys are located right. at. Also, second thing you really, as far as any damage that could potentially happen to your property, you need to know where that main isolation valve is. If you have a leak under your sink, behind the dishwasher, behind the clothes washer, and trying to turn those valves off at that location can get uh, very uh, wet. So we want to go to the main water isolation valve, turn that off, then you can address those issues. So that covers the electrical if you have a problem and plumbing if you have a problem. That's a main cutoff that shuts off all the water inside the house, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I know where those two are in my home, which is behind us. <laughs> Another thing you need to learn from your home inspector is uh, what where your ground fault circuit interrupters are controlled from. A lot of times, one will be located in one of the bathrooms that control all the bathrooms in the home. Isn't that something? So, a lot of times, people will call an electrician, he'll come out and push that button for them yeah. and charge them $100 to $150. Already had that happen. It was in the <laughs> appliance garage part of the cabinets. There right. was a plug-in for the toaster. That's the whole kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And also, there are some breakers that have been introduced to the industry a number of years ago called arc fault breakers. They're actually located inside the electrical panel. And what they're doing is they're watching receptacles, lights, and switches in the bedrooms for arcs and sparks. And sometimes you can plug something in and nuisance trip that guy and you don't want to call an electrician to come push that button for you That's again. Right. So you need to know where there's a control from, how to reset those also. Another thing that you need to learn is where all your HVAC filters are located mm -hmm. and the sizes because they need to be changed on a frequency depending on what type of filter you buy. It yep. could be a, a monthly filter, it could be a quarterly filter. Gotcha. So uh, you need to make sure that you know where all those are located. Mm -hmm. Okay, another thing that we should learn from our home inspector is how to operate the gas logs. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know how to, and there's a lot of different ways. Some are yeah. switch controlled, some are remote controlled, some are manual. So we want to know how to light them, we want to know how to turn them on, and some even have blower systems on them right. that are manually operated or on a thermostat. It's so there's interesting a, that they all work differently. They do. Yeah. A lot of them really, really even work differently. Even in the same house, I have three and they work differently. So you showed me how to work them. Yep. <laughs> Another thing you want to know is if you have a larger house with numerous HVAC systems, yes. then there may be multiple thermostats. You could have two or even three thermostats controlling one HVAC system. So you want to know where those are located and what systems they're controlling and what areas they are, they are actually uh, adjusting the temperature to. Another good thing to ask your home inspector is uh, the age of your HVAC systems. A good reason for that is budgeting purposes. If you have an HVAC system that is 12, 13, 14 years old, that system is at the end of its useful life expectancy. You don't want to move into a house and the HVAC system is working fine and then all of a sudden it goes away in three to four months and you're not budgeting for that. Absolutely. And you know, you can learn all this from that home inspection when you buy the home, the best thing to do is attend the last 30 minutes of it during the summary. You can get the home inspected and then you can meet with the buyer and say, these are where these things are. These work, these don't work. This is how you turn on the gas logs and you get all that in that last 30 minutes. Don't let anyone tell you that you should not attend the final 30 minutes of that home inspection and learn those things about your home. And that's how I learned things about this home is from Scott during that summary. And I still use all those things today. It's interesting that homes can be wired differently, plumbed differently. And from that home inspection, you can learn about your future house and all the particular things about it. 
and find out what's wrong with it because when you come and meet with Scott, it will sound better than it looks on paper. Exactly. <laughs> Scott, if they'd like to reach you to have their home inspected, how do they reach out to you? 803-242-9588 or carolina-homepro.com. This was great information about a home inspection and learning about your home when you're buying a home. We've got lots of other tips about buying and selling homes on our YouTube channel. Please visit us there at Stephen Cooley. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, tap like and leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos.